you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to the last Sony Vegas tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen videos or how to use a sharpen tool because let's say you have a video of something and you just want to have it like a little bit sharper. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video and know it guys, the thumbnail is not to get views or whatever. <laughs> okay. It is just showing you guys in the thumbnail before and after how it's going to look when you use the sharpen tool. So with that being said, let's don't waste any time here and let's jump straight into the actual video. Yeah. Right guys, so as you can see I dragged in a vlog in Sony Vegas right now and it can look a little bit sharper guys Believe me, it can look a little bit sharper So the first thing that you want to do is you just want to take your video or your photo and You want to go to over to the video effects tab and you want to scroll down until you see Let's see a sharpen there we go and what you want to do guys You just want to drag that sharpen guy on here and you have as you can see we have pre three presets we have first one which is medium uh, lights and heavy and basically what we're going to click is we're going to click on let's, let's start off with medium Let's preview the video right now and let's see how it looks right now with like sharpen with medium applied Okay, so honestly, I don't think you see you can see the difference that good So now we're going to add in another sharpen tool Just drag it again also on on top of your video track and just pick the preset you want to pick heavy Basically, let's see what the video looks like right now. So let's play back the video So that looks actually a little bit better, guys. Believe it or not, I don't think if you if you guys are not able to see it, well, I can see the difference actually because like you know myself is a little bit sharper because the background is blurry as you can see because it's focused on my head as you can see always right now. So this is the vlog as you can see right now. It looks pretty tight, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another few more um sharpen sharper and thing like effects on top of it because okay guys because here's the thing guys you can you know as you can see right now this is a little bit too much because my face looks very blurry so i'm going to press ctrl z and i'm just going to pre keep pressing ctrl z until it looks fine while well, this looks actually pretty pretty sharp guys because let's see how many stabilizers we add on we had two stabilizers that are both um on default so we're going to put both both to heavy this guy and also this guy i'm going to put that one up to heavy as well i think this looks as sharp uh, i think this looks as sharp as you, as you can go because otherwise you're going to see you're going to start like losing quality and see pixels because you're making it too sharp and you will actually see all kinds of crazy things so this is how you can make video sharper because i added like two sharpen tools and it does a lot if, as you can see when i i added them two uh, sharpen tools and they're both on heavy and they make such a big difference i would say this is actually a method how you can make it sharper or you can just try to you know keep your camera as focused as it can when you're filming if it goes out of focus for a second you of course can fix it in the editing uh, with a sharpen tool so i would say this is how you use a sharpen tool guys it's a really simple tutorial i know but this is like how it is and i don't want to make a video that's like 10 minutes long to show you guys uh, how to do something that i can show you guys in two or three or four minutes so i would say that's how you can sharpen your videos guys it's really simple you just want to add in the sharpen tool pick a preset that you like you could start off with lights and then both start with light okay like that's a little bit too low we could going to pick medium and if if that doesn't help as well you just want to pick heavy that's how you make your video sharper guys it's really simple and i would say that's the end of the video i showed you guys everything there's nothing more to tell you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and i would say that's the end of the video guys so that's so simple as guys that's how you actually make you know your video sharper so thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video and thank you guys for almost 28 and a half thousand subscribers right now the counter is at 28,272. So thankful, guys. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So thank you for liking and commenting on this video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers as always on Thursday. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. What's happening, guys? My name is Alex, and right now, guys, I'm on a holiday, so I'm going to be back on Monday. I'm not going to reply to any comments, guys, so please make sure that you save your questions for next week or just leave, like, a nice comment, like, not a question, but a comment, because I'm on a holiday right now because I really need to get my mind off of YouTube, so those videos are all recorded beforehand, and in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice credit roll, because let's say you have a nice, like, short movie, and you want to give credits at the end of the video, like, you know, like, editor, producer, um, executive, I don't know, like, 
makeup, lighting, anything. So make sure you will cover everyone that's helping on your project. So I would say let's jump straight into the actual video. Okay, so now that everyone's going to Vegas, what I'm going to do is, as you can see right now, I have like a nice clip of, of driving and I'm just going to, you know, make it go over in a, in a like a blur. As you can see right there, I'm just going to play back the video. As you can see, it transitions in, in like into a blur and that's basically a nice time to put, you know, credits right there. So. What you want to do is you want to go over to the media generators at right there. And you want to pay credit roll. And as you can see right here, we have a few options. So I'm going to disable my face cam real quick so you guys can see. So as you can see right there, we have um, plan, scrolling on back, scrolling on transparent. That's basically what we want. We pick scrolling on transparent. And now this box is popping up. And right here, you want to type in the text that you want in your in your credit rolls. So let's first play back and let's, let's see what the credit rolls look like. As you can see, it's really nice. As you can see right there, we have titles we have so you can put a lot a lot of cre credits in there so what we're going to do is we're going to replace the red text with thank you for watching and as you can see right, right there at the top title text you want to select everything and you just you want to type in in big in, in capital letters thank you for watching Ooh. okay so now that we've done that it should change in sony vegas as well as you can see right there we have now thank you for watching let's say we're going to pick this one we just want to pick on sub item text we want to replace that with let's say special thanks to and then as you can see right there we have thank you for watching special thanks to and then we're just going to add in the names of of course what everyone was doing so first of all let's say we're going to you know the left item we're going to start off with um let's say producer Boom, as you can see right there, it says producer, and then at the item right, you just want to give the name, so I'm just going to type in my own name, just Elvis Alford, right there, boom, and as you can see right there, producer, that's the credit for, like, for me, so that's the that's that's it for the producer part, then we're going to go below that one, we just, let's say we're going to pick editor, we're going to also put in my name, because that's all the same, of course, so we're going to type in this all, and it's just Elvis Alford, there we go, so now that we have product, producer and editor also in the credits, then we're going to add another one, let's say we're going to pick, um, music and then we're going to let's say um, add no copyright sounds because that's the music i'm using no copyright sounds there you go so now that we have producer credits not my name then we have the music no copyright sounds then editor and then my as you can see right there my own name and there we go guys there we have the credits and when i'm going to close this out what you're going to do is not what i'm going to play back the video uh, well the credits when it's getting to get blurry so now that's blurry let's we're going to make the credits roll in the screen and as you can see if you want to make it go like faster what you can do is press hold control and then drag this guy make this one smaller it's faster as you can see right there it's going a lot faster now if you want to make it really fast, you can do it like this. That's a little bit too too fast. But if you want to make it like really slow, you can just you know hold control and drag this out, and then it's going to go really slow from the, from the bottom to the top. And it, I can make it like even more slow right there. That's good. That goes really really slow. But this is how you make credits, guys. This is how you add a credit roll, guys. It's so it's so simple. You can just add in credits to whoever worked with your um, video. So this is how you credit. This is how you add credits. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to smash the like button down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video about how to make credit rolls. In your video so thanks again for watching thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video like i said i'm on a holiday right now I'll, I'll be back on monday because those videos are recorded beforehand so thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys i, re I really appreciate all the support for almost 29,000 subscribers I, said, I think probably it's going to be over 29,000 by when this video is live so thanks for watching hope to see you guys in one hour for the last episode of well actually in one hour for an extra video and then in two hours for the last one of vegas total of today so thank you guys and i'll see you guys in one hour What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last Sony Vegas tutorial of the day. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to bass boost music. So let's say you're tired of music that's like really, that's sounding really dry and empty. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video and also guys i'm on a break right now so i'll be back on monday but this video is recorded beforehand so i'm not going to reply to any comments i just wanted to do like something else outside of youtube for one week and then come back like 10 times better so i'm on a, i'm on a break right now and i would say let's start off with actual tutorial okay guys so we're in Suna vegas again and i just dragged in an ncs music like a song because i'm going to show you guys how to bass boost this song so it's really simple guys there's nothing complicated about this so i lowered the volume a little bit because i don't want to go into the red as you can see right there it can go into the Red, we don't want that so just lower the music a little bit 
I just put the opacity to a minus 2.6 decibels and that's how we're gonna hit it from there. So this is a song that I'm going to use bass boost, this one. So you can also memorize it without the bass boost. Okay, so this is the song that we're going to use and first of all you want to apply some effects to it. So first of all I'm going to let you guys listen again to this song without any bass boost. Okay, so that's the song Elysium by NCS. If you guys wonder what the song is, I'll leave the you know credits in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to EQ this track. So we're going to click on this green icon, this one that says okay, track track effects. So right here you want to go over to the track EQ tab, this one. And what you want to do is you want to click we want to pick a preset. And first of all, guys, I want you to um, first of all, if you're watching this on your phone with your phone speakers, you're not going to notice it because you need some good audio. Or like a headset or like earbuds to in order to hear the difference so if you're on the phone you know on your phone speakers or tablet or whatever it's not going to sound that well but if you're on a computer um and you have like a decent headset or you can just you know use earbuds in your phone you will be able to hear it but you're not going to hear it from like regular speakers so what we're going to do is you can see we have, we have the track eq and there are a lot of presets as you can see and also one that's also made for you so you don't need to mess with the eq and and the, and you know all the, the knobs right there what you want to do is you want to just click on the bass boost one we have two bass boost you know options this is like bass boost frequencies below 350 hertz by 4 decibels and you also have boost frequencies above 7 kilohertz so what we're going to pick is the, the the bottom one enable this this effect and let's see what the song sounds like with the effect applied on it way better. Okay, so this is the first you know effect that we applied on it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to uncheck the bass boost effect. So this is a song without the bass boost. You clearly can hear the difference. This is a song with the uh, track EQ applied to it. So that makes a huge difference as you can hear, but if let's say if you're not satisfied with that, what you also can do is you can pick the other one, which is bass boost frequencies below 250 hertz by 4 decibels, and let's see what that sounds like. That sounds way, way, way better than the previous one, but the bad thing is guys, as you can see right there, it went into the red and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the music. Well, the, the volume of it, so until it's not in the red anymore. Two thousand years later. And I'm going to play back the song, and while the song is playing, I'm going to apply it so you guys can, you know, hear the difference. So, this is, this, well, I'm just going to apply it like the effect in the middle of the song so you guys can clearly hear the difference. guys can hear that makes a huge difference and this is how you bass boost songs guys make sure that you just have you know you can lower the opacity because if i put the opacity up like up to 100 it's going to go into the red zone like immediately 
as you can see right there, so it's way too loud. So you just want to lower this until this marker doesn't reach the red boxes. This is how you bass boost the song, guys. It's really simple, like in how to do it in Sony Vegas. So this is how you bass boost it. So that's it for the Sony Vegas song, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for, I think, one, one, like 29,000 subscribers by when this video was live. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. I really appreciate you. And hope to see you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to videos from subscribers, as always, on Thursday. So thanks again, and I will see you guys tomorrow so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow